there. This looks to be the northernmost trailhead along the narrow gauge railway line into a conservation property in Bedford, Mass, known as Bueller Pond. It's like down here. Then the narrow gauge goes up to Bedford where it amounts to very little uh, way up here. Oh my god, look at all the joggers. This is a fairly popular trail. And then it goes all the way to Depot Park and the conjunction with the Reformatory Branch Trail and the Minuteman Bikeway this way. So there's where the trail rises up from the main trunk of the narrow gauge. There you see the little trailhead marker. Good Lord, it's a regular jogger highway. This is what I'm aiming for. This will be heading due south, so I imagine it's going to rejoin the narrow gauge trail momentarily. And I wanted to get a sense of this little parcel I've been to before up here in Bedford. Trail's in nice shape. One thing I've noticed about Bedford from before, when I was looking at the Reformatory Branch Trail, and now, <coughs> is that even though they may not have had as much upkeep budget or volunteer participation over the past few years, the system is so sound that it kind of holds its own and people clearly seem to like it. When I think of a lot of the other places that I've visited, this is a Tuesday, what we would call an obscure Tuesday back when I was a kid. So typically in other places I've been to, these little nature preserves are dead. This one's jumping. Yeah, interesting understory plants. So here on a Tuesday, I've already seen an easy 10 or 15 people along the rail line. I don't expect to run into as many here in the related nodes of conservation parcel. But nonetheless, this is pretty impressive for participation. It's a well-designed little trail. It's really just off to one side of the main trunk narrow gauge trail. You can see those distinctive Bedford basic trail line blazes. They've held their own. And Bedford, unlike some of the towns I've visited, particularly along the southern edge, 
is a placid town. The kids must have other stuff to do here. They're a contented lot. So the kinds of vandalism and disregard of the basic nature of places that I've run into on occasion elsewhere is mostly absent. Cool little boulder erratic. Nice place to hang out. It's like someone abandoned a newspaper. Strange little rock spot. Almost looks like it had a purpose once. This is a great trail. It's well into the first third of September. It's actually September 11th and much of the nation is remembering those who were lost. <clears throat> there are actually people from Bedford who were lost to 9-11. So maybe it's kind of appropriate that I should pick this as a place to hike. This appears to be some little local vernacular trail. Don't know where it goes. The blaze indicates that it's not a major thing. It seems to suggest going this way. And you have something skirting a vernal pond. Ooh! A thrush. This pond's got some water in it. <laughs> Scrambling turtles. set up on the other side of the pond. We'll have to investigate that. Ah, it looks like old retainer structures. Jeez. This is cool. Great moss, a sense of quiet, perfect little pond. <laughs> 